This is Father Greg Hiley returning with a word of hope for Thursday of the 25th week of Ordinary Time. And I have to say that our opening reading from chapter one of Ecclesiastes today is a bit depressing. It says, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. Life is so wearisome. Everything that we do has been done before and there can be nothing new under the sun. Now you have to ask, where is the hope in that? And we have to confess that, at least I have to confess, that sometimes that's exactly how I feel when I wake up in the morning. Vanity of vanities, oh, this is so wearisome. What difference can I make? I just wanna roll over, I wanna sleep in. I don't want to do anything, it's not gonna make a difference. But what kind of discipleship would that be? And perhaps we can take our clue today from uh, the martyrs, and particularly from Cosmas and Damien, whose memorial we also celebrate today. And in the Mass for Cosmas and Damien, the first reading is from the Book of Wisdom. And it says that the martyrs have experienced an unspeakable disaster. It, 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 it truly is remarkable and horrible what so many disciples have experienced compared to what we experience. But it says, do not lose hope. God with these martyrs is he, God, the scripture says, is kindling sparks in them. They will dart about like sparks through the field. They will start a fire, a conflagration as a result of their discipleship. And so uh, maybe we're not going to be martyrs today, but we can ask God to blow on the embers of our faith and to raise up the flame of our discipleship again. We can in the morning ask God to rekindle our faith, rekindle our commitment and our devotion to the reign of God. Perhaps we pray also to Cosmos and Damien. Cosmos and Damien, help me to wake up. Kindle in me the fire of your love so that I may be a disciple proclaiming the good news and curing the sickness of our world. So much in hunger for the hope of God.